Hey guys, Jesse here with JP Outdoors, and today I'm getting things ready for the boys and I. We're going on a couple day camping trip. But what I did was I wanted to change things up a bit, so I built us something that they definitely will not forget. I built us a potato gun. The boys never seen one. They don't know quite what they do. They're in for a treat. You guys stay tuned. I'm going to show you guys how to build one exactly like this. Alright guys, before we get started on this project, I just want to put this out there. These things are a great time. You're going to make a lot of fun memories with them. But just make sure we're using our head on this. They're extremely dangerous. They can hurt or kill somebody. So they need to be used under close adult supervision. It's not something you're just going to give your kid and say, hey, go have fun with the potato gun. We'll see you in a couple hours. So just want to put that out there. Let's get started on this project. You're going to need a four inch uh, piece of PVC pipe, about a foot and a half, foot and a half to two feet. You're going to want uh, about four foot of two inch PVC pipe. You're going to need a clean out cap and then the cap for the clean out, a four inch to two inch reducer an igniter which we'll go over that here in a bit on how you can uh, acquire one of these some uh, primer and PVC cement first step what I'm gonna do is is I've got this uh, purple primer here what this is gonna do is it's gonna prime all the joints that I'm gonna glue together uh, so it so it will adhere and hold so what we're going to do is, is we're going to use this and prime the outside of this 4 inch one and the inside of this clean out. Now we're going to use the cement and we're just wherever we put the primer at we're going to put the cement in and then uh, before it starts drying we're going to Piece those two together. Oh, that one smells kind of better than that. Kind of better? Uh -huh. So then now that we've got it primed and got the cement on there, we're going to piece this together. Kind of in a twisting motion. <laughs> We've got the bottom part on, now we got to put the igniter in. We're going to have to drill a hole, and I'd say right about in the center is where we're going to drill that hole for the igniter. Now that we've got the hole drilled, we can put our igniter in. Now there's a couple tricks to do on that, but let me explain this igniter first. So what this is, this igniter is for a uh, Coleman lantern just kind of like this here it's specifically made for one of these lanterns it goes in there that way it can start up the lantern without you having to put a lighter in there and how this works is is there's a little flint in there and you just flick this and it makes a spark so that's what's going to ignite our fuel in the potato gun so you're going to need a small screwdriver to disassemble this. And there's a little screw right up here. You're going to want to unscrew that. But make sure you're careful when you take that top off. Because typically, there's a spare flint inside of that. So we don't want to lose that. We're going to take this nut and bolt system off. just like that. That's going to go inside the pipe underneath and this will go on top. And then we can put our ignition system in there. Here is the problem that you run into when you're using this type of ignition system. This, there's not enough clearance here for me to screw this on. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to file this down that way we can access the threads on that. I've just got a little rasp file here, and I'm going to file this away until there's enough clearance 
to where we can access those threads. It's going to take me a little bit, but we'll get it. Now you're going to get these two bolts. This one's going to go through the bottom, and this will be up top. Just like that. Tighten that down. We're going to feed this through. It can only go one way. So it can be a little tricky. There we go. You got it just like that. Now you're going to want to take your, your cap that I just remember I had told you guys that there's a flint in there that you want to make sure that you don't lose. Well, I'm an idiot and I just dropped it on the floor so I got to find that real quick. Alright, we found it. Very small. That's the extra flint. Try to put that on there without losing that. And screw that in. Just like that. And it should be good for the next step. Alright, so we're at the clean out portion of this. If you unscrew that and look in there, you should be able to see a spark. And that's exactly what we want. Next what you're going to want to do is take your 2 inch to 4 inch reducer and we're just going to prime the inside of that and prime the outside of this. Put the glue on like we did on first step on this. We'll try not to make such a mess this go around and then we'll go from there. Fit like a glove. Now onto the next step. We're going to put the barrel on. Alright so we roughly have, you know, we got 5 foot. That's a little bit too long for what I want. So I think we're gonna knock about a foot off of this. All right, now that we have that cut to size, we're gonna wanna clean all this up, all these burrs up. And then also, this is gonna be the part that we're gonna be putting the potato in. So we want this to actually be able to cut the potato to where we can smash it down into the tube. So what we're gonna do is use a grinder and just kinda grind the edges along this. that up a little bit of a taper there along the, the end of the barrel there it's kind of all you need I'm gonna do the same thing prime this in here prime the end of the barrel cement it put it in and she'll be done and on the end of this Now we're just going to fit that in there, just like so, and should be good to go. Alright, if you're asking yourself if this is even legal, the answer is yes. Now obviously you want to check your local state and regulations, but where I live at, I did the, the research and it is legal to possess one of these and to shoot them. However, you can't be in a populated area um, or, or anything of that nature. We're going to be going out to the country. There's no houses around within, you know, miles. So it'll be perfectly fine. Now, these things will shoot up to 300 yards, which is substantial. So you got to make sure that the area that you're shooting at, there's nobody around. We're going to wait 24 hours and let all that cement cure up. But it doesn't look too bad. We got to do a little cleaning up with, uh, with the old purple cleaner. But... Not too shabby. You can get this done in about a half hour. You ready to shoot this thing off, Skylar? Yeah, I can't wait. Alright guys, it's all finished up. If you want to see the boys and I shoot this thing off, make sure you watch next week's episode where the boys and I are going to be going on a three-day camping adventure. We'll see you guys then. As always, you guys take care, and we'll see you next time at JP Outdoors.